We begin with Angola, where the head of the country's sovereign wealth fund, Jose Filomino dos Santos, has been fired. Jose Filomino is the son of former president Jose Eduardo dos Santos. He was removed from office following an investigation into the mismanagement of a $5 billion fund. Jose Filomino is the second of the former president's children to be dismissed by current Angolan president, João Lorenzo. The first being the billionaire daughter, Isabel dos Santos, who was removed in November uh, last year. And uh, as uh, she was uh, until then the, country, the country's uh, head of uh, state's oil company, Sonangol, and she was fired over corruption allegations. Now, uh, many of the former president's uh, uh, children have uh, government-linked roles. Since the Angolan state-owned diamond marketing company, Sodium, with, was as with, with them from the capital of the Swiss jeweler of um, Gorgono, whose shareholder is Syndico, the husband of Isabella dos Santos, and his father-in-law and former president, who, who said it was dos Santos, remain the boss of the Popular Movement's party for the liberation in Angola. And complained in December about the radical decision, who now explore the political analyst, Joa Lis, who is in line with us from Luanda. Nous allons maintenant explorer la situation politique dans le pays dans le détail avec l'analyste Joao Luceviqueno. Joao Luceviqueno is with us this morning to speak more on that issue. Hello and welcome. Joao Luceviqueno, bonjour et bienvenue dans le monde. The son of the former president Eduardo dos Santos, Filomeno dos Santos, has just been sacked from the Angola Investment Fund. How is it perceived in Angola? Sur place dans le pays. He wants to be surrounded by trusted people. We must not forget that in terms of operations of the fund, there have been things we should speak about. It is not but that there have been some changes in Sunangol, in Diema, and the Diamond Company, and now in the Sovereign Fund. It is normal outside the political power. It is also necessary to have economic and financial power, so he's going to entrust them to his people. What have been the impression of the president that President Lorenzo wants to quickly clear any influence by this vice predecessor? It is true that the president of the foreign sovereign was the son of the former president, and it seems that there was there were problems with the sovereign fund. If tomorrow there is any criticism to be made, it will be up to the president to to reply. I think it's that's normal. He knows the new manager of the sovereign wealth fund. So we see it as something normal. Uh, 
Would that appear to be, it appears to be a muted duet between the president and his predecessor. Wouldn't this break out at some t at a point? On Tuesday, there was a meeting of the MPLA political bureau. And there was a meeting between the president and his predecessor, and both were smiling. On Monday, President Lorenzo gave a press conference to stress that there was no clash between the two. But there is that with the MPLA. People reject any clash idea, but it can be observed that the current government has not been fully chosen by Jean Lorenzo. It is the governing party. It chooses who to preside over the destinies of the com of the country, according to the constitution. The party is chaired by Eduardo dos Santos, which means that the people of a government are not completely chosen by the president, Lorenzo. Lorenzo didn't completely choose um, the cabinet. He doesn't have the absolute power to choose his, the members of the government. And that's where there is really a bit of clash. 